Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Academics here. Uh, I had a question earlier today on my YouTube asking, is there an easier way to get the new Legends than just hoping to get one from the scroll? So I wanted to go over a couple of ways, and I think I've, I'll be able to cover them all here on how you guys can get Legends. I know being a new player, one of the f most fun things to do is get a new Legend, and even being an experienced player, uh, it's a really fun time when you get to summon a Legend. So you can see here, if I scroll to the top, I have quite a few Legends. It goes all the way down to here. I even ended up summoning last time from Tower of Treasures. Hard mode and this GN that's still waiting to be leveled up. We can see I've summoned quite a few Legends. So I'm going to go through one by one the, the ways that you can get Legends. Uh, and the easiest way for a beginner, I think, to start out to get a Legend would probably be uh, to beat Tower of Treasure. So Tower of Treasure is over here on the map. You can see it's right beside the Atria Fortress. And beside Nesta Trials, it's in between both of them. So if you click on that, and you go to Normal here, you can see that if you beat Floor 100, uh, it gives a Legend Scroll. So that's the first way you can get a Legend. I'm not sure if that's the easiest or not for new players, but that's one way to get a Legend Scroll. So you need to beat 100 Floors, you'll get numerous rewards on the way to the top from beating that. So it's a really good way to just get a bunch of things for new players. And just people in general, this resets every month. So every month, you have a chance to get a Legend. So it's really good to focus on being able to do this. So you're able to get Legends at least once every month. Now after you've been able to do normal mode, uh, normal is pretty tough for new people. It'll take a while before you can beat it, so don't get too discouraged. Now the other way that you can get a legend once a month is from beating it also on hard mode. Now hard mode takes quite a lot more, you need to be a lot more advanced. It's a lot harder than doing it on a TOT, like on the regular Tower of Treasures. So hard mode, you're going to need to wait until you get like a, quite a few legends and just some key heroes. You can check out my other videos to see what heroes I use. Or you can see once you beat 50, also here, this resets once once a month as well, uh, that you'll be able to get another legend scroll. So that's two ways that you can get legend scrolls. So that's two technically a month that you could be able to get once you're able to do both of those. So those are two ways. Now we got over here on the right side, I was explaining to the gentleman on, or the, the lady, I'm not sure, on the, my YouTube the, about the Be A Legend event, and they weren't really sure about it, so I wanted to explain that. So on the right side over here, you see that there's a VS, and there's a little scroll there, a Legend scroll there. So that's the Be A Legend event. So if you click on that, you'll see that every 30 days, this will, if you beat this every 30 days, it'll reset. So say you beat it on day 20, it'll reset but you also have a chance on day like if you beat on day 20 you can reset it with gems or crystals which I typically do because I beat it fairly quickly like in the last for instance I beat it in a week last time but typically it takes me about 14 to 20 days to do it depending how much I'm playing and things like that and what kind of events are out if they're giving out good things but even if you don't beat it within 30 days I think if you beat it uh, in 40 days it'll still reset for you uh, I believe I'm not sure because I've never done it and I don't like the people that I play with don't do it that way either but I'm pretty sure as long as you uh, start this and once you beat it it'll reset for you so how be a legend works is you get points for uh, random evolving heroes and fixed evolving heroes transcending heroes that are six star and awakening heroes that are six star so you can see how to acquire points here if you summon a four star hero you get five points uh, if you hero evolve to a four star, so if you fix two three stars or random evo two three stars, you get ten points. Uh, if you hero evolve to a five star, you get twenty five points. If you hero evolve a six star, you get fifty points. And then if you awaken or transcend a six star, you're gonna get a hundred points each. So you can see that when you get a hundred points, you get hundred fifty energy, so on and so forth. But then when you get three thousand, that's when you can get another legend. So that's three ways you can get a legend. Now, there's also Arena. So if you go over to Arena here, all I did there was just click the top right, the VS icon with the shield and the two swords. You can also get to Arena by going to Glory Battlefield. We call it Arena. It's called Glory Battlefield. The short term for it is Arena. So if you ever hear, that's what they're talking about. So you click on Glory Battlefield. And then if you go to Rewards here at the bottom, you can see that as long as you get, um, 
I mean, as long as you get gold, G3 is what we call it for short, which is gold 3, like the third tier in gold, you're going to get scroll pieces to summon a legend. So, I mean, three scroll pieces isn't a lot because you're going to see here, those scroll pieces go to this legendary hero scroll piece up here, and you need 300 of them. So three isn't a lot, So, but that's one way to get them. So if you go in here, go to rewards. I typically finish in 100 or 50th, so I get 100 legendary scroll pieces or 120 legendary scroll pieces every week. So every three weeks, typically I'm able to also summon a legend, which you guys can be able to do too. I would try aiming if you're new for, like, I mean, gold's a good, I think, first tier to start aiming for. It's not very hard to get gold. When I remember when I used to start playing, I don't know how it is now. I've been playing for about a year, but gold was pretty much, as long as you play, you should be able to get gold. Like, if you play solid for a good week and then you just do arena when you can... You should be able to get gold easy. Even platinum, which is the P there, it's pretty... It's not that hard to get, I don't think. Like, P3 I was getting right away, like, when I started playing. So, I think a good thing to aim for would be the P3, P2, P1 at first. Uh, P1 is a little bit more difficult when you're starting out. Even P2 is pretty difficult. But, I mean, if you could get 40 scroll pieces to start off of P3... Uh, you're not doing too bad. If you can even get in gold, like, it's not bad, but you want to aim for platinum at least. Get 40 a week, 50 a week. Say you're getting 50 a week. I mean, that's only six weeks, and you'll get a legend every six weeks. It's a good way to help you get up. Uh, so that's another way that you can get a legend. And now another way you can get a legend is from the shop. So if you go to summon, and you go all the way over here, there's a legendary hero that you can summon... Once you've summoned five, um, once you've summoned five light dark hero summonings, you'll get one out of three for legendary hero, and then once you get three out of three, you can summon a legendary hero. So basically, it just costs a bunch of money. If you go through the tiers here, you'll see how to, you'll be able to summon a free legend after you spend so much money in the shop. Uh, unless you really like this game and have disposable income, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, trying to get a legend that way like in a rush I would just wait until you end up like doing 10 plus ones and things like that to get the legend from there uh, I know you can also get a legend from the advanced user package maybe no this one so over here on the what's this called new user package you can get a free uh, not a free legendary but you can get a legendary for this is Canadian prices so it's 140 I think American it's maybe a hundred bucks but I mean, you get 8,000 gems and you get a legendary scroll. Uh, to me, back in the day I would have bought this immediately, but to me I'm trying not to spend as much money as I can in this game lately. The only reason I even bought these two packages because they're extremely cheap for what they're offering. And I really was into the event and I hadn't spent money in so long, so I wanted to support the game a bit. Um, so that's another way. And then... The only other ways that I can think of off the top of my head are doing random evos. When you do a random evo, um, you can... So if you take two heroes and you do a random evo, for instance like this, you have a chance to get a legend. Now, you can only do this at four star and above. So doing two star, two, two star heroes is only giving me a three star. So I have no chance of getting a legendary. But if I random evo... Two three stars or two four stars or two five stars. It has to be a random Evo. You have a chance of getting a legendary hero. It's a very small chance, but it's a chance. Like for instance, uh, I got Wagon from a random Evo, and I got Elray. Where is she? Right there. I got Elray and Wagon from random Evos. You have to be very lucky though. There's actually one other way I thought I forgot to write down that I know you can get legendaries from, but this way is probably even more rare than a random evo so if you do secret dungeons if you go in here i actually only have mine and i haven't done it but if you go in here and you run through the secret dungeon i could just do it for you really quick uh you have a chance of getting a legendary hero and a lot of new people might be really and it's like yeah generally you get hero pieces from this so we're doing a light dungeon so you typically will get money or you'll get pieces for a lead or for a regular hero a four star hero if you're doing advanced if you're doing uh, intermediate beginning you get pieces for another type of hero 
But at the end of this, you do have a small chance, a very small chance to get a legendary hero. And I've seen it happen once. And then I've seen it happen when I got it, luckily. So down there, it'll show a legendary hero. It's very, very rare. And I actually ended up getting Wukong from uh, doing a secret dungeon. It was actually a guy in my clan, Lies. I was doing his secret dungeon. And I got this guy for free. It was unreal. I was actually just autoing and I looked down and I saw him and I was just blown away. So other than that, now we've listed off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways you can get legendary scrolls. The only other way that I can think of right now, and that's a lot, is if you go into the events tab here on the left, so after news there's event, you go to event. Every once in a while there will be a way to get legendary heroes. That's pretty, like they're pretty difficult to get and they're pretty hard to get, but it is another way you can get legendary heroes. So if you go into hero and equipment collection for instance, um, on this event, I think it's in here. No, it's not in here actually. If you go to new hero collection event, you can see if you summon Toami or Hoami, um, one of the new heroes in this event, then you will get a legendary scroll for free. So that's another way you can get a legendary scroll, but it's absolutely random, which some of these red legendary scrolls are already pretty random, but you can see I've actually was lucky enough to get both these heroes and get two legendary scrolls. I was actually really lucky during this event. Don't count on it. Because it doesn't happen that often. And that's it. So there's one other way to get legendaries. But it's this event is just a yearly event. So this is another event. It's another instance of how you can get legendaries through events. At the very end of this event. On the 30th day. You actually get a legendary hero scroll. So that's another way. It's just basically events is the the outlying last way to get legendary so if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below if you like this video leave a like subscribe for more wonder tactics and other games gameplay and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching